Hi, I'm Jim Burke. I started a company called Proto Design Labs and we make digital decoders for model railroading. And I'm here to tell you about how we use the Tektronix 5 series in our product design and development. So my first encounter with Tektronix was in high school. I went to what would be considered to be one of the original STEM schools. It's now 100 years old and it's actually the biggest STEM school. We were very well resourced and uh, had lots of different courses, a combination of academics. I chose electronics. Uh, I had heard that we had gotten some new labs. They had Tektronix scopes in them and I had never seen them before and they were very different than anything I had seen. So after college, I had a number of jobs and I eventually arrived at Intel. I was hired as an applications engineer. I did that for quite a while. And then I moved on to Intel's interest in getting into smartphones. So I retired from Intel and suddenly I had a lot of time on my hands and I thought about whether I wanted to start a company or something like that. I wasn't sure what to do. I had acquired a lot of model trains over the years and I was really surprised that they had some inner workings that um, I thought that I could improve. So this is, for example, uh, a model of a switch. It has a cover on the back and so I removed the cover and lo and behold there was a board inside but there weren't any electronics on that board. It didn't understand why somebody hadn't put a digital decoder inside the switch track. And so that's what we set out to do when we started Proto Design Labs. So one of the problems in model railroading is you have these switches and it's very difficult to see what position they're in just by sight. So what a lot of customers do is they operate them with these mechanical switches. So we designed these, these signals so that they could plug in, so ease of use, and it would give a very positive indication of the setting of the switch and it would add some life to the, to the model railroad as well. So once we decided that we were going to build uh, a decoder switch for model train, we had to figure out how we were going to get started. We were working with a bus called DCC, Digital Command Control, and it's proprietary to the model railroad industry. The information would come out on the spy bus and then we could have the series five decode that bus and put it on the screen in real time. We didn't want to just know what the commands were. We wanted to know what our software was doing. We realized it was so general purpose that it could tell us things about where our software was in a process, making decisions, what, were the, what did the numbers look like that it was making decisions from, very simple things like that. So we decided we were gonna do our development that way and uh, from start to finish, that's the way we do it. If I were to compare it with a car, Tektronix is the kind of car that you like it so much, you drive past your house because you don't want to stop driving. Okay, that's what this scope is like.